long time coming like Lexington Steel. I'm better for real. I still can't get over this battle, man. Like, I'm more to keep listening to this part. For real. Here it comes. Pulp Fiction in your bitch's apartment. Pulp Fiction in your bitch's apartment. I'm getting brains in the back seat, but it ain't Vincent and Marvin. And then I pull up with the chopper ready to click it and spark it if you don't have your homies watching your ass like Christopher Walken. In the movie Pulp Fiction, he had to watch his ass. Always on, but only once did I slide my clip in Cause I had soldiers watching my ass like Chris walking in Pulp Fiction You said black, motherfucker Always on, but only once did I slide my clip in Cause I had soldiers watching my ass like Chris walking in Pulp Fiction Ain't nothing changed, I'm still the same in the booth On, but only once did I slide my clip in Cause I had soldiers watching my ass like Chris walking in Pulp Fiction Ain't nothing changed, I'm still the same in the booth Anyway, anyway. Uh, thanks, Dunch. Thanks for explaining that punchline. You see, I don't know, man. There's coincidences, and then there's straight biting. And I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I've heard, you know, verses with less, where there's been people claiming to, to have that verse originally, you know. But like, the, the verse that I have, it just sounds too identical to that punchline with that Chris Walken Pulp Fiction, watching the ass, you know. Um, my version which was done, oh, let's see here, a while back, let's just say for now, oh, there it is, 2007, um, you know, let's take a look at this right here, you know, Cause it, the verse is just too close, man, I just, I, I just gotta know, like, I'm a young straight gangster to the core, way before rockin' bandanas was even considered the norm. Always on, but only once did I slap my clip in, cause I had soldiers watching my ass like Chris walking in full fiction. Ain't nothing changed, I'm still the same in the booth, except these days my concentration. I mean, it was right there, you know, me 2007, and I mean, I had most of these bars even written a year or two before the 2007, before the Yardy Black Presents mixtape murder mixtape dropped, you know what I mean? So... I'm just trying to figure out how it is that you have almost the exact same punchline and this is going to be a, just a mere coincidence on a punchline like that. I understand there's a lot of people sometimes that will have a similar punchline and over time things like that happen. But a lot of times, you know what I mean, number one, a lot of them take claim to whatever the punchline came from and such. And, you know what I mean, either way, regardless, I was the, the original owner of that punchline. So, I mean, a lot of people are making credit to you on that punchline saying it was such a dirty line, but it really wasn't that great of a punchline. It was a great punchline in 2007. So, you know what I mean? So that's just my little thing on that as a hip-hop head from one hip-hop head to another. Uh, you know what I mean? So I felt I got to speak up about that. Other than that, you know what I mean? I didn't mind the battle. Y'all y'all was going back and forth between you and um, what's homeboy's name again? Reverse Live. Yeah, Reverse Live, you know what I mean? And, uh... The one thing I can say about Reverse Live, though, is I didn't really hear any bitten punchlines, you know, so. But we'll see what it is, man. I'm going to be keeping an eye out and seeing, you know, how many more of y'all biters are out there, because, you know, I know how that goes. Y'all think you can just go online, take people's lines, and just try and, you know, book it. But when the thing's been online seven years before yours, you know, game over. It's your boy, Yardy Black, Michael Darkshine, a.k.a. Digi Hendrix. Peace.